Welcome back, guys. We say goodbye to the colonial era. And we say hello to the World Wars. Which, which for me, is where the, the game, like, really starts. The colonial era is kind of... I, I mean, I think it's just something that you kind of get through with a, with a bit of cash and leave it at that. So what are we going to do? Well, we need to industrialise because the simple fact is that as soon as you start providing housing and healthcare and police and fire and all that kind of stuff, um, it costs a lot of money, right? So you're going to need to provide, uh, to produce a lot more. And just plantations, as good as this plantation setup is, like, let's let's not, you know, mix any, mix any words about it. This is freaking awesome. But... Um, this alone just isn't going to provide enough money, right? You could, I mean, to be honest, like doing all the tricks, like doing, getting all the contracts and all the rest of it, you could probably scrape by for a while, but no. And if you want to do something really cool, then forget it, no chance. So, we're going to start putting some stuff in. Um, you know what, I guess, like, like while I'm planning this out, I'm going to pause the game because so I want to be able to focus on this and not worry that things are going to get out of control. And things can get out of control pretty quickly. So, I want a road that comes, and I like it much better once we get the tarmac roads. I do like the tarmac roads. We want a road that's going to come, like, along here. And I want to kind of maximise the space as much as I can. But we can't get a road right in these squares. So, we've got to come to these squares, which is, which is a pain. And then that only goes like to there. Now, I'm going to add a second docks down here. And this is, is this going to be my main docks? I don't know. I don't know. We'll, I, guess we'll, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> As the video unfurls. We'll uh, unfold. Unfurls, unfolds. Same, same kind of thing, really. Uh, so what do I want? I want the freaking docks. Boom. Uh, am I going to... Uh, am I going to quit build? I'm probably not actually. I'm probably going to maybe cut down a little bit on the old quick building. So let's run that up there. Um, I don't want a road um, like on the beach itself, but I do want a road coming in probably from just behind it. Um, let's say, how about if we come in like that? Yeah, go on, like that. Now, I need all my teamsters and stuff. See, they, like, it just keeps running away with me. <laughs> like, I don't know why. I have no idea what the hell's going on. Let's get, uh, let's get a construction. Or let's put a freaking construction office in for once. Um, I, you know, I can actually kind of do with a, like a little road there and have the construction office there. And then I could put a Teamsters in there, couldn't I? Or, I could just throw it in there. No, go on, let's use the space. Let's use the space. Flying cars have arrived in Tropico. Current flight times are less than a second, but our scientists are working hard on improving that. You're going to get bored with hearing that, let me tell you. So let's have uh, Teamsters. If you're trying to maximise the space, you want it to look good, but of course, uh, the corners and stuff are kind of awkward. All right, so we want, the, we want this stuff to get built, so we'll quick build the construction office, because that kind of makes sense. It's just running at the moment. Yeah, it's running. Pause. Why does it keep running? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, so that's um, that's going to be our port down here. Right, so we're going to have kind of the main town, I don't know, in this kind of area. But I was actually looking before before I started this, and uh, we need we need electricity. So we need, uh, we need a power plant, but a power plant is fed with coal. So we need some coal. So where are we going to get coal from? Coal. Answer? Freaking right there. Like the worst possible place that it could be. Because that is pretty much exactly where I want the freaking town to be. Now, I do have coal up there, which I, I suppose I could use. And I'm, th I'm now thinking, you know what? Maybe, maybe I just put the power station up there. Okay, so we'll have, we'll have, a, we'll have a coal plant there. We need, uh, we need some roadage. So, uh, we'll, uh, there's room for a second coal plant there. So we'll have a... Uh, let's see, these are three wide on this. I want two, three, four, so I want to be four. So, we'll have a road across there. Power plant. This is why you need a, like a bunch of cash going in, because there's so much infrastructure to get set up uh, in the world wars. So, um, what do we want? We want power plant. So we've got to unlock it. 6,000. 
Now, do I put the power plant like right next to the mine? I mean, I could. There's a lot of strong arguments for doing that. Like, why the hell not? I, yeah, why not? Just freaking do it, guy. For heaven's sake, it's not that complicated. Uh, right, so now I need now I need a road going up here. You know what? If I if I have a road coming down the middle, like the middle there, then it'll give me an S bend. There we go. That'll do nicely. And then. I'd maybe just run straight up there. Yeah. How's that look? Yeah, that looks okay. Then we're gonna be we're gonna be more aesthetics now. Okay, let's have a look at the libraries while I think about it. Up in the research. What do we got? We've got a bunch of stuff. Clinics, house newspaper, radio station. Let's get um, let's get all of that stuff queued up first. Get the building stuff first, and then we'll, then we'll kind of worry about the other stuff, I suppose. Okay, so um, so yeah, I'll just unlock the cannery. Oh, now now this is a good point. Do I go at this point? Do I go industrialization? Uh, if we go to the edicts, now this is this is a big deal because this is tons and tons of cash potentially. Um, you've got first of all, you've got the urban development. So before you build a ton of um, residential buildings, right? You want to do that. Decreases the co construction cost of all residential buildings by 50%. Right, you know what? Boom, done. As much Issue as the edict. And then industrialization is the same thing for industrial buildings. Th this, the, this one runs for five years, right? Uh, the industrialization one only runs for two years. So just be aware of that. So let's do that one as well. We 50%, fun. nice. Okay. So, canneries. Let's get some canneries in place. So I am actually, I'm thinking that we're producing enough stuff for at least two, and I think we could probably do three if we get some more. Let's see, we've got we've got some fishing going on over here. I think we're gonna move the fishing now away from there. Maybe have the fishing over here, and maybe this is gonna be like a tourist beach over here. I think that would work better, don't you? I think so. So, Let's have, yeah, one, two, three, yeah. Yeah, go on then. So one, how much are these? Like I didn't even look, how much are these? Canneries, industrial, canneries. These are, these are normally six and a half thousand, right? So we're saving 3,250 every time we put one down, thanks to industrialization. So if we put in three of these, Right, we've got our money back on industrialization. So if we put in any more industrial buildings, then then we're we're really saving money. So what do we want now? Um, well, um, we definitely want to start producing um, cigars for sure, because that is really profitable. The cigar factory is like really profitable. So I think we'll cram that in there. Do I leave a space? Because I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not really going to get anything else in there, am I? So, shall I leave a space? Yeah, go on. I might even put... I might, you know what? Can I get a road down the back? If I can get a road down the back, I will. Can I get a road? I can get a road down there. Um, you know, I... I tell you what, let's run the road down... Let's run the road down to there for now. Because I, I, I'm just debating what, what's going to be here or whatever. I might adjust that road slightly and have that hooking up to it. We'll see, we'll see. So we've got Cigar Factory, nice. That'll bring in some nice profits. Um, what else do we want? Now have I got two, did I put in two tobacco? So look, we've got pineapple. So we're producing two lots of pineapple. We've got pineapple up there and that's bananas, corn, pineapple. Yes, yeah, so we're producing two lots of pineapple. So yeah, you combine that with meat and fish and we'll easily keep three canneries going or at least we should keep three canneries going. So yeah, um, what else are we going to put in? We're going to put in. Do we want to make? Do we want to make boats? Do we get a shipyard? It needs a beach. But maybe, maybe like some, maybe someone like that would work. Yeah, go on, let's do that. So let's have, let's have you. Oh, good lord. Okay. Yep, that'll do. So we'll produce some boats. What else can we produce? Well, we can produce um, steel, but for that we need um, iron and coal, and it's a whole thing. So I'm not going to worry about that too too much right now. Um, 
We'll do the steel mill and weapons as kind of a second thing. Do you want to unlock the, uh, the blueprint for textile factory? Yes, I freaking do. And we want textiles. Now, textiles, we need um, either cotton or wool. Now, at the moment, we're only producing cotton, which, uh, where the hell's cotton? Is it this one? No, that's rubber. Cotton, there you go. Now, that's our only cotton. So, I think we're going to put maybe some llama farms in to get some wool. I think that might be a nice idea, don't you? So let's get uh, to get a textile mill. Where are we going to have the textile mill? Oh, I think we have the textile mill. Well, we can either have the textile mill like, over there. Um, I kind of like that idea. Yeah, go on, go on, we'll do that. We'll go, on, we'll do that. Um, creamery. Am I going to worry about the creamery right now? I don't think I am. Not right now. I'm just going to get, just going to get this done. Okay, so. That's, that's our industries put in, like, for now. Um, I am wondering, I am wondering whether we could get a second textile mill. I tell you what, we'll try. We'll try and get a second textile mill running. Um, let me leave. Oh, I, seriously, I can't put that there. Oh, you s Okay, people need to get to work over here. And the people who work in these factories are probably going to be well off because uh, we're going to be paying them decent wages. So what we want is for them to be able to drive to work. So unlock the parking deck and we want a parking deck. Now the thing is, I don't think I can get a freaking parking deck anywhere in here. If I could get a road up in between these, that would actually that would actually work really, really well. Um, hmm. But I don't, I just, uh, I don't, I don't think that's going to work. Because then the, the, the people have got to walk all the way around, which kind of defeats the object. If if we put the parking deck there, can we get the road to hook up to it? Let's, let's try that. So, aha, maybe we freaking can. Okay. Oh, good Lord. Okay. So, at least... They can drive over here and then walk to the factories from there. Now, would I have liked it in the middle? Yeah, I would. Should I, should I rework it and move that road over? Yeah, I should. Am I going to? No, I'm not. I could put another parking garage over here on the corner. Yeah, yeah, go on. Let, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, yeah, there. Okay, so, got a parking garage going on. Uh, what else do we want to do? So I said llama farms, didn't I? The question is, where would they, where the hell will we have llama farms? And the, the problem is, they've, they've got to, the stuff's got to be brought over here. So, I could convert maybe some of these farms to llama farms. Um, you know, I might do that. I might do that. Change resource. Uh, well, let's see. Can, yes, that's nice and fertile for llamas. All right, we'll have a llama farm there then. Okay, change resource. Boom. Now, it does mean that I, I lose the 10% bonus to the surrounding plantations, but you know what, at this point, I think it's fine. So, we've got two lots of cotton and a llama farm. If I need to add more, then I'll add more later. Let's have a, let's have a look at the town or start looking at the town. So, first of all, I think I want a road running kind of sort of along the middle, like this kind of thing. And then I want an area in the middle, probably three wide would be good. Yeah. And then we'll just, we'll just run that up there. Yeah, like, like that kind of thing. So, what do we want in here? Well, what I, what I want to do is put a bunch of stuff in here to service people and then have houses around it. That's that's the general idea. Now, we, we've got the, the well-off people here. Now, I could just put apartments over here, um, which I probably will do, but I was, I was thinking to have the, the, like, the manual labor over here, the cheap houses, and have the, the well-off people living further in. And to be honest, as long as they can drive to work, it'll be fine. Okay, so, so what are we going to put in here then? Well, let's start off with maybe a little decoration at this end. Uh, let's see, what, what options have we got? Do, 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 do. Um, that's probably as good as anything. So let's have 
One of those. Uh, so let's have that one, and I wish you'd stay on the one that you're placing rather than picking a random one. But let's have three of those. That gives us a little bit of beauty in the area, which is kind of nice. And then, then we want to start putting in some buildings. So let's have, um, we, we're definitely going to want a church. So let's have a church. Where, where are we going to have the church? That's the question. I don't know. Like, now, this is four long, so it won't fit in width ways, which is, i got to say, a shame. But go on, we'll have the church. We'll have the church there. And just to be really disrespectful, we'll throw in a couple of taverns next door. <laughs> what do you think? Good plan? Yeah, I think so. So let's have, um, yeah, a tavern there. And we'll spin it around and have a tavern there. So you can go to church and then afterwards you can come out and have a beer and talk about how much how, how much you shocked the the father with you with your confession i think that sounds like fun right so um they can have a drink so they, have, they can have some fun they they can do the faith thing what else do they need to do well they need to eat so they need a grocery let's get a grocery going for uh no 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 public service so they need yeah a grocery and they need a clinic Let's unlock the clinic. Let's put a clinic in. That'll go there kind of nicely. Boom. And then we want a grocery store, which again, if we flip it around, uh, which way? That way? That way, I think. Boom. Cool. All right. Now, the other thing that we need in is newspapers. Um, and I'm thinking, where are we? Uh, at media and education. Um, well, newspapers or radio stations. We could, could go with radio station. Or we could have a combination. Let's unlock the radio station. Um, let's have a little look at it. It's kind of cool. I do like the radio station. Should we have the radio station over this end or over this end? I think maybe have the radio station. So I think the radio station maybe at this end. Yeah, we'll have the radio station over there. I'll put a newspaper over here. Where's the newspaper? So let's have a nice newspaper. Yeah, just there, that's fine. Cool. So, um, my God, actually, I've got that exactly the right length, <laughs> which is, that was just a guess. So we just slot that across there, put in a little bit of decoration again. Um, that needs to be that way around. One, and two, and three, all right. So we've got that done. Then we want a road going out of here to hook up to that. So, nope, nope, come back there. Let's just run it. Hmm. This is not gonna hook up nicely. Yeah, like whatever I do, that's not gonna be a nice junction. So like, what the hell? Let's, um, let's maybe run it to there. Yeah, let's do it like that. Is what it is. Right, do I want a road coming down here? I'm pretty sure that I do. Um, that's four way, yeah, that's fine. So let's run that there and there. Cool. Alrighty. So now, let's get some freaking houses in. What have we done? I've already spent 100,000. See what I mean about having some cash? It's a very, very good idea. What do I want? I want residential now. Oh, now, that's a good point. I've put in, I've put in a couple of taverns but that isn't gonna be enough. Uh, and there's no, there's nothing for the well-off people. So I think we want um, a little, just a little bit more in terms of the services. Um, so fun. Now, we could put in the circus, but I think uh, that, 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 that's for more for the, uh, for the poor people. But I think we'll go with a restaurant for the well-off people. So maybe, let's have, and I mean, we could have like potentially like a couple of these. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to put in a couple of restaurants at the end here. Yeah, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah, right. Let's get some residential in. So we want apartments. Let's unlock the apartments. So these are for the well-off people. Um, so I'm thinking if we have like Maybe a couple of those there. Um, um, what I'm thinking of there, put in there is a parking, a parking garage. And then maybe a couple right there. 
Okay, uh, that's a bit of a start. And then let's get uh, let's get some let's get some cheap residential, some bunk houses in. So bunk houses. Yeah. Uh, oh, that, that's that there. Um, so let's have. Do I? Yeah. If I put like a couple there, and then I'll put something in the centre. Probably I don't know, like a I don't know, a tavern and, and some parks or something. And then we'll have we'll have some more poor people over here. And then I think maybe some apartments again. Yeah. Yeah, some apartments. So let's, uh, not house, nope, apartments. So let's have apartment and apartment, and then we'll fill in the gaps with uh, maybe a couple of taverns for, for these poor people. So let's have, oh, what? Oh, there. Uh, spin you around, tavern there. Hopefully this this will be quite a nice little area once we're done. I hope so. So we want, uh, we want a parking garage. Where are we? Uh, infrastructure. We want a parking deck. So we'll have the parking deck there. So you park next to the restaurants. So that's convenient. And then you get drunk and then have to leave the car there and have to walk home, which kind of sucks. But I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, how many? Well, it's the balance between poor people and well-off people because I'm going to start making people a bit richer as we go forward. And talking of rich. If we have a, have a look at this, uh, look at the wealth, we have got one rich rich person. So, ha <laughs> ha, it's mansion time. So let's have, uh, where are we? Mansions. Oh, hello. Let's have, uh, which way round am I gonna want? Oh God, shut up, noisy thing. We're gonna want this mansion facing, I guess, that way, aren't we? Yeah, so. Yeah, we'll have a mansion in there, and I want the same model. Oh, that is the same model. Hooray. Now, you can change. There's like, I don't know, like four different types or whatever. Um, the one I put in was that one, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, I want to put this opposite. Like, probably there. And then, is that the same? Oh, it's giving me the same one again. Hooray. I'll probably have like, I don't know. I might change that road so that I can have something else. Down here. Maybe that, and with a little park in between. So yeah, it's going to be it's going to be mansions down there. Um, the rum distillery. Now that's a good point. Am I going to get rid of that? I think I probably am fairly soon. But we'll leave it there for now. We'll leave it there for now. So I said we wanted fish for the canneries, didn't I? Yes, I did. So let's get uh, let's get a couple of fish going in as well. What the hell do we want? We want food and resources. We want fisherman's wharf. So, that'll hook straight up to there. So that's fine. So what do you think? Like a couple? Yeah, I would have thought a couple's gonna be like perfectly adequate. I like the fact they're in, oh, that's, I didn't even know that was there. That's freaking perfect. Okay, so these can actually go away. So demolish you and demolish you. Right, is that enough planning? Should I actually start getting some stuff like running? Might be an idea, mightn't it? Now, obviously, that is a hell of a lot of biz building work. So temporarily, I'm going to put in some more builders. We'll have, uh, we'll put in a construction office there, which we will quick build. You know what? Just put it over here since it's temporary. All right. Okay, I will. Let's put it. Let's put it there. That'll do. Right. Should we crack on and get some stuff built then? Yeah. Let's go. So let's uh, let's keep an eye on our money going forward because airplanes have revolutionized warfare yet tropical still has no air force an official palace statement says learn to fly one then we will get planes i'm going to prioritize the tobacco factory and the three canneries i want those up and running asap and i think we'll prioritize the dock as well and maybe like one of the teams. Presidente, you look bored. Do you not have an underling to throw oddly shaped objects at? Stay still, Wolfgang. Do not move. That is the funniest thing that he says, at least so far. I don't know whether he gets funnier. I've no idea. Uh, so let's let's see. We'll we'll accept that because we've kind of got to. 
because this is a this is a demand. You have to do this. So we've got to build an embassy and uh, and invite them. So okay. yeah, okay. Presidente, we must choose a side in this terrible war before it ends. It is almost certain to be very short. Progression to the Cold War. Basically, we need to have an alliance. So have an alliance, which means have them present at an embassy, get cordial relations, and either we ask or they ask for an alliance. It's, it, to be honest, it's pretty straightforward. And it's gonna be pretty easy. Uh, so that's that, and what else? We've got a guidance task. Decrease the unemployment rate to 7%. You know what, I'm actually gonna accept that because it'll just show me what my unemployment rate is. See? Unemployment rate is 20%, 27%, goal 7%. So that's a, like a good monitoring tool. Um, there are two, yeah, that's, yeah, that's okay, go away. And then... The foundation of peace, Prez, international trade. You give a little, you take a little. Okay, accept an import trade route with any non-superpower. Okay, will do. Will do. Right, so, our President, construction workers are getting to work. There is a flaw in our military machine. We do not have enough of the things that I want. Build two watchtowers. We'll do that as well. But only after we start getting some of this done. <laughs> Look at that. That's quite a lot of building going on. But it's a, it's a massive step forward. Right, let's have a look at the money because look at our expenses. Our expenses are massive, right? But most of that is just the, con the current construction costs. What we want to see is once all this gets built, how do our expenses shape up with our revenue? So now I could go and quick build all this, right? But I don't think that's actually like a particularly good idea. We want these, um, why are they going to build in these? They're building all the blooming Teamsters first. I've prioritized these. High priority. Come and build this. There are a couple of other buildings that we need prioritized. And I'm trying to figure out where the hell I'm going to put them. And I... Okay, and the buildings that I'm talking about, which are really, really important, because you're probably going, well, how are people going like, to get to work and stuff? Well, we're going to put in bus garages. You know what? If I put one there and one there, and then have a road going down there, that would actually work. All right. You're saying that's not connected? There's a difference between... Oh, which... There we go. There's a difference between how far it shows it extends the road when you place it and like how far it actually does extend. It's, sh it's shorter when you actually want to connect it. So I need to do the same thing there. Don't we? Yeah, there we go. I could probably have fitted these in, like in these spots. Might have been, might have been a good idea. From the palace declares that we are definitely winning the war. Keep listening to find out which side we are currently on. You know what, I'm gonna quick build these because they're relatively cheap and I wanna get them going. So, um, the bus routes. Where are we gonna have the bus routes going? So I think we'll have one, um, we'll have one at this end of the town square and we'll have one at the end, that end of the town square. Um, actually, I've got the well off at that end. Now maybe, they, maybe they'll both be over here. Yeah, yeah, maybe they'll both be over here. So the comrades are that's gonna be that. President. Build a radio station. Have... Yep, I am. Um, what am I doing now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to put the end bus stop in. So set the the end bus stop. The end bus stop, I actually want three of these because I want one bus stop here for all this, one bus stop here for these, and one bus stop over here for these. So let's put in, let's put in one there. Let's pause this while I'm doing this because it's getting out of hand. Here, yeah, let's get another bus garage. Can I slot it in here? Yes, I can. Oh, actually, there. That's even better. Boom. In you go, quick build you. So this one, place starting bus stop, this one can be, you know what, that one could be there and the other one could be there. Right, and then everybody can just go to that central place and congregate, which is kind of cool. Mind you, see putting it there kind of means the buses have got to go a bit around the houses. No, let's put it, let's put them there, there, there. Yeah, that's fine. So that one's gonna go there and place the ending bus stop. So we've got one there, we want one over here, there would do very nicely. And then all we've got to do is get this one built, which it is now, and do the same thing. So place a starting bus stop, which is going to be there. Boom. And that's a fishery, you idiot. And the ending bus stop is going to be way over here. There. 
cool. So all of these people, hopefully, all the people in this area are gonna be able to get up there pretty quick. So, obviously, we wanna maximize this, so let's get some more housing built. Good plan? I think so. So what do I want? I want um, bunk houses. So, one, two, up. Oh. Why can't I build there? Okay. What, seriously, why can't I build there? What's there? Oh, is it because of that freaking bus stop? Really? Oh, man. Oh, because I was going to have house there, house there. And apparently I can't. Oh. Okay, well, let's have a couple more down there then. All right. Keep going. Keep going, you fool. Speed up. Okay, we have got our cigar factory. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Let's have a look. Automated line. Ruins two job positions. Increases efficiency by 20%. Hell yes, we'll have that. I want the freaking canneries to get built. What are we getting in here? Ah, missed it. But 13,000. Let's see. We've got to watch, we've got to watch two now. Now this is a point, we've got a fire raging. I need to put in some services, which I was I was thinking of putting in like over here, because it's kind of halfway between here and here. So go on, let's do it, let's do it. Let's put some services in. Um, bum, 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 public services. We want a fire station. That's kind of the first thing. The, now the fire station, where do I put the fire station? Maybe, maybe the fire station is just over here. It's kind, it's kind of a waste though, I think, putting it like right by the, the wonder of the world. Yes, this is the wonder of the world, the, uh, the, the Registan of Samarkand, and here's the fire station. <laughs> I don't think that works, do you? No. No, that's kind of silly. Let's put it down here. Um, oh, I'd love to, I don't know, you've never got enough space in this game. You just never, you've never ever got enough space. I'm gonna put it there so I've got a bit of room to put some other stuff in there. That's, uh, that's where that's gonna go. Let's, uh, let's quick build that. Just so that we can put the fire out would be kind of nice. Uh, so that's that, what else do we want? Um, services wise, let's have a look. We want, um, bum, 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 bum. actually, no, that's fine. We probably do need some other service, like, like uh, I'm pretty sure we could do the, some more taverns. We probably need another clinic. In fact, I'm pretty sure we need another clinic. Um, but I wanna put the police in. Where's the freaking police? Here's the police. Let's unlock the police. Now, the police station. Now, this needs to be well, see, typically you put a police station down by the docks to reduce the the corruption down at the docks. See the see the, corru the the corruption, the orange there. So I think maybe maybe just put it over there, and that that'll do. Yeah, go on, that'll do. So that's the police. I'm not going to quit build the police. We'll we'll wait for the police. And let's see, fire, police. Uh, we're already dealing with health, religion, fun. Yeah, okay. Right, so it is just a case of get it freaking built. Look at this, I've got these three prioritized to high priority. They'll build anything else first. <laughs> freaking crazy. House things. So, um, our expenses, 66,000, our revenue, 41. What's the next boat coming in and what have we got? Um, not a lot to ship out. Not at least, at least not over there. What have we got over here? We got, yeah, virtually nothing to ship out over there either. So you, what are you going to bring in? So we got like 7,000, 7,000. Niche for cash program. Report something suspicious today and you could win fabulous cash prizes. Right, we've got a protest. We're going to start getting these now. So we need to deal with them. So we can either pay them off, negotiate with them, in which case we'll get some kind of task that we need to perform, um, or we can send the military. I think, because we want to build, I mean, we're building loads of stuff anyway, it's probably a good idea at this point to just negotiate. Skill amazes me, Presidente. Oh, have an average health happiness of 12. With that should be pretty easy to get to. So I might, because we've got that, put in another clinic somewhere. Should I put another clinic in somewhere? I think I probably should. Because I've only put in one. And I think we need more than that. Um, so what do I want? I want public services, another clinic. Where can I squeeze another clinic? I could squeeze another clinic. Like there, actually. Hmm. 
Yeah, go on. Let's squeeze it in there. Who were? Loyal Penultimo is speechless. Decrease the unemployment rate. Yeah, okay. I'm working on it, Penultimo, for heaven's sake. I've built loads of stuff. Um, that's not connected, so I need a road. A little further along there. There we go. So the well-off people can drive to there, at least. So they can go, then get there, and then get there. Right, electricity. We need the electricity. Now, we're going to need people to be able to get here. So we're going to need a parking garage up here. Infrastructure, parking deck. Mind you, the miners, the miners will just have to like, either walk or live up here. So, um... Yeah, this this stuff does need to get done. Let's um, let's make that a high priority. Not that it seems to make any freaking difference whatsoever. And then, do we do we maybe put a house up here? A house or two, maybe. Yeah, potentially. Um, that's yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll stick another another bus route up there or something. For now, they can just freaking walk. This. They'll, if they're desperate to live up there, they'll build shacks, and then I'll then I'll build something up there. But let's there's, there's plenty to build here right now. Like there's freaking tons. Okay, we're starting to get some stuff done. We've got the textile mill going. How are we doing with the old cigars? Answer. We are starting to churn out the cigars. Loving it. Right now is the time to start focusing on getting some like new trade routes set up. So what we want are the the luxury stuff. So, um, let's say cam goods, 75% above standard. I need to get the embassies rocking and rolling. The embassies are gonna be up here, uh, near the near the square. I'm not sure where, I'm, because I think these are gonna be moved. Because like most of the people are living over here, so. There are gonna be some people living around here. But I'm thinking maybe the embassies go up here. Let's have a look, uh, where's the embassies? Uh, government finance and immigration. I wanna get the bank going, that's a point. I should have done that earlier. Could have got some interest. Uh, embassy. You know what? Let's let's buy it just so that I can see, like size-wise. It's. Hmm. I can't get both of them side by side. That's freaking annoying. Maybe I put them. Maybe I'll put them. Hmm. Maybe one there and one there. Maybe. Yeah. I think that's probably what's going to happen. Cool. Alrighty. Um, what are the what are the options? Dependent. Slightly slightly increases the approval of citizens living in the vicinity of the newspaper every time they rest. Decreases liberty by thirty. Or penny saver. You earn one dollar for each citizen living in the vicinity of the newspaper every time they rest. Decrease that only decreases liberty by five. Might go for that actually. Might go for that if we uh, if we need the cash. Uh, I was I've got to get these trade routes set up, otherwise we're going to go freaking <laughs> bankrupt very rapidly. What was I doing? Yeah. So um, rum can coal no steel planks no. It's not going to give us any decent freaking contracts now. That's import cigars. Oh come on. No no. All right. Well we'll just have to wait for the good for the good contracts to come in. Now I'm not using cocoa at the moment, so we could we could do a cocoa contract. Um, we're still using sugar, uh, meat and fish. We're actually using in the canneries. Well, we would be if I switch the canneries to high pressure canner. So let's get that, that, ah, that one. I didn't do that one, did I? No. So now they can accept meat. Hooray, fish, pineapple, and meat. So, we can start producing that. But they need electricity! And we haven't got this built yet. Because our construction workers are slacking. We are getting a lot built though. I don't know, maybe it's worth just building that. Uh, the thing is, I've got, to build the, I've got to build the mine, and I've got to build that. Well, the mine's only 600, so we can just get the mine built. Like, what the hell? And then let's get uh, let's get the power pump built. Ooh, six thousand. I have set it to high priority. Why don't they come and build the freaking thing? Bunch of slackers. You need 
They're not going to build it. You know what? Quick build it. Because we need our canneries to start producing and we need them to start producing pretty quickly. Um, so hopefully soon somebody's going to bring some coal to this if our Teamsters are actually like on the ball. Let's have a look at our population. How are we doing? Um, okay, we've only got 35, what, well, well, 35 vacant jobs before we had loads of unemployed people. So that's actually pretty darn good. Um, approval is still high, so that's good. Uh, we've got another protest going on. Really? Look. Right, right in front of the palace? You're lucky you don't get shot, mate. Uh, El Presidente, people are angry, not at you, of course, but what they have become. Like, um, why can't I negotiate with you? Why, seriously, why can't I negotiate with them? Okay, uh, I don't know, not now. Okay. Um, we need to get the radio station built. Oh, did I put the radio station in? I put that, I was gonna put the radio station at the other end, up here, wasn't I, somewhere, and I never did. So let's put the radio station in, while I've still got some money. Let's get, what do we want, media and radio station. So that's gonna go, I don't know, I think maybe, maybe just put it there. Yeah, that'll do. Um, quick build, yeah, quick build. Let's just, Our let's just get it done. rejoice in your support, Presidente. And of course, we all rejoice equally. Um, I might, I'm kind of tempted to take the cash because we kind of don't really need the standing right now. So go on, I'll take the cash. Like, why not? Why not? I've got to build two watchtowers. Uh, I've got to get that. Now, the health happiness is coming up. So that's encouraging. We should be starting to address the homelessness. Where's, um, let's see, homeless citizens, 57. Are, only 57 homeless now. That's kind of crazy. Where are we? Homeless families, 52. Uh, 30 poor, 11 well off. We've got all the things built. They probably haven't all moved in yet. Oh, that's full, that's full, that's full, <laughs> that's full. Yeah, that's full, that's full. Oh God, yeah, so I do need to build some more. But more importantly, we need to get some cash coming in. Let's have a look. Revenue, yeah, our expenses are exceeding our revenues at the moment because we haven't got any decent contracts. So uh, I want, like, a cigar contract is what I really want. We can ship canned goods to the Axis, but it's like 5%, it's rubbish. There's no contracts to export cigars. Oh man, how unlucky can I be? Cotton we're using, tobacco we're using, and I've got no contracts to export uh, clothes. Oh man. We got no. We can't export cloth, cigars, or canned goods. Frick it! Unbelievable. Let's have a look. See how we're doing. See how our, um, our canneries aren't producing because we have, still haven't got any freaking electricity. Oh, are you are you working? Oh, we've got some coal. Hooray! Now I might need to put in a substation. Pause. Let's see, do I need a substation? Well, let's actually look at the overlay first. So, electricity. Yeah, I need to put in a substation somewhere over here. Oh, the radio station needs electricity. Okay, maybe, maybe we'll sling it in there. That should reach all of them. Let's see. Um, let's quick build it. Go. Right, now let's have a look at the overlay. Electricity. Hooray! Yes, we've covered the entire freaking place. God, okay, that's got a big radius. I didn't realize the radius was so freaking huge. Uh, resume. Well, All right, guys. We've arrived in Tropico. Current flight times are less than a second, but our scientists are working hard on improving that. We're just a little bit down on the revenue. If we could get, if we could actually get some trade going, and ne mind you, now we've got the three canneries running, things should be a lot smoother. Here we go. What is it? 5%. Really? Uh, like seriously, only five freaking percent. Cigars again, five. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hundred percent above. Three and a half thousand. Forty thousand bonus. Right, we'll take that one. Now that we've got at least got one decent contract, uh, five percent's better than nothing. So we'll take that one. We'll take that one as well, so that we're improving both of them. And nothing there. Nothing there. 
Sugar, hide. Hide we can export because we haven't got a tannery, so we don't really don't care about that. Uh, anything from the pot, from the smugglers? No. So go on, we'll do a hide contract with you. I'm not using... Oh, that's an import. I thought that was an export. No. Um, we could do... You know what? We could do a corn export. That would work. Yeah, go on. So we'll do a corn. Again, it's 5%. We just need to get the get our ratings up with the superpowers. What, what are our ratings at the moment? Yeah, well, I mean, we're not even 50%. So, um, hang on. Why haven't we got power again? Oh, because we've run out of coal. I think that it might be an idea. Let's see, what's the pro... Um, increase efficiency by 15%. Decrease job quality by 15. You know what? I'm going to do that. Demanding elections, Presidente. It seems that they want the choice in how they are ruled. So yeah, well, we're at 94% approval, so I don't think I need to talk to them. So, uh, allow them to vote, but I'm too tired to talk to them. Yeah, that's fine. Um, what was I doing? Yeah, so I'm going to crank that up, which decreases the job quality, but then I'm going to pay them more, which, um, which they'll be very happy about. So job quality should stay the same. And somebody's actually working there. Hooray! Yeah, get it done. So our efficiency, 125%. Hang on. Um, adds two job positions. Should we do that? Yeah, go on. Let's do that. And we'll do the canary as well. Okay, uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't accept that, did I? There we go. So now our efficiency, 140%. There's the breakdown. Cool. Alrighty. We are going negative. So the question is, now that our canneries are actually working, and they're going to start pumping out canned goods, can we turn this around? <laughs> can we turn this around and actually start making a profit? Well, guys, if you want to find out, you're going to have to come back for the next episode because we're going to leave it there. And I tell you what, next episode... I'll zoom in and we'll have a really good look around the place. Because I tell you what, it's not bad. It's quite nice here. An official Would you want to live here? Palace declares that we are definitely winning the war. Keep listening to find out which side we are currently on. And look, all the shacks have gone virtually. We've got we've got like a, a couple of shacks. But basically, all the shacks have gone. Let's have a quick last look. Um, we've still got 56 homeless, but we've got two vacant homes. Uh, we've only got eight. Oh, we've got eight unemployed people now, but like... So, yeah, as long as we can sort the cash out, we'll be okay. The question is, can we sort the cash out? That's a big question. I'll catch you for the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.